Hi, Abraham. I'd love to answer this question for you. So it looks like what we have is just an equilibrium reaction involving hydrogen gas and iodine gas to form hydroiodic acid. So I went ahead and, and draw an ice table for us. And let's see what we have. So it looks like we're starting out with 0 0.366 moles of both of our reactants and none of our products. And so as this reaction takes place, we can see from the stoichiometry that we're gonna lose X amount of both H2 and I2. And at the same time, we're gonna gain two X of HI. So our equilibrium expression for both the H2 and the I2, which shows 0 0.366 minus X, and the HI is two X. So let's go ahead to the next board. And here, I've just drawn out the math for us. So our equilibrium expression looks like Kc is equal to hydroiodic acid squared divided by the concentrations of H2 and I2, which is equal to 55.6, which was given to us in the problem. So as we flesh this out a bit, we can see that for the HI, we can just replace that with 2x, and for the H2 and the I2, we can replace that with 0 0.366 minus x. Now this gives us a really nice opportunity to make the math kind of clean and easy. So we can basically just agree that both the top and the bottom, the numerator and the denominator are squared. And so we can say that this is the same as saying 2x over 0 0.366 minus x, the whole quantity squared. And if we take the square root of both sides, we get 2x over 0 0.366 minus x is equal to the square root of 55.6. And by doing it this way, we can avoid the quadratic equation entirely. So this makes our math pretty easy. And keep in mind that square root of 55.6 is a plus or minus square root of 55.66. So on the next board, we kind of explore that. So what we wanna do is set up an equation for both situations, one where it's a positive square root of 55.66 and one where it's a negative. And so that's what I've gone ahead and done here. And then we just carry out the simple algebra. And as we get to the bottom of the negative situation where we have a negative square root of 55.66, we can see that we get an X that's 0 0.5. And this is a bit of a problem for us because we only started with 0 0.366 moles. So we can't lose more than what we came with. So we can reject that solution. There's no way that that's possible. It's a ridiculous, erroneous, or spurious answer. And we go with the positive situation where X is equal to 0 0.289. Then we return back to our equilibrium expression and we can see how we can apply that. So we know that X is equal to both H2 and I2 in the change department. So all we do is we say, look, the equilibrium for both H2 and I2 is 0 0.366 minus X. So we can just carry out both of these operations at once. We subtract X and we find that the concentration of H2 and I2 at equilibrium is the same, which is 77.4 millimolar. And for the case of the hydroiodic acid, we just multiply 2X and we find that it's 577 millimolar at equilibrium. I hope that you found this helpful. I hope it was clear. I hope that you can use this going forward.